it is May 26, about 9.30 in the morning, and it has been a little bit cloudy. It stopped raining finally, as you saw in my other home garden tour, and I'll leave a link to that if you missed it. Um, but I want to show you what's growing in the container garden. But most of my herbs are grown up here. I do have some down in the home garden, some perennial herbs. But I'll just start here with the green stalk system and show you what's growing. Uh, they sent me a little thing called the mover and I put this on the bottom of my green stock and now I can just move it around. I love it. I had my green stock system at the other side of the deck and it was just not really, I didn't think in a good spot, but this will help me control the sun exposure to the green stock system. I can move it over into what I call my shade line on my deck so that it can get a little bit more shade if it needs to like in the afternoon. So I'm growing a lot of lettuces in here. I'm growing some sweet pea tomatoes. Uh, they're little currant tomatoes. Um, I have a lot of cilantro that I've succession planted through here. Some's come up already, some has not. And then I have some in my containers. Um, I have some scallions that I planted. I have a beautiful fennel plant. And I, have, I also put a hot pepper plant over here because I didn't have anywhere to put it. So this is where it found a home. We'll see how it does. And just a lot of different things. I've enjoyed this little system so much. Um, you'll notice that everything's at different stages of growth. And that's because I do that purposely so that I'll always have something growing in there. So when some of my older mature plants, like all this lettuce in here that's doing beautifully, when it starts to get old and bitter, I should have some nice fresh um, spinach coming up um, and also Swiss chard it does wonderful when the temperatures are a little bit warmer certainly it does much better than lettuce so I like to do it this way so I can always come out and pick a little something out of the system and I have I think it's 30 pockets in here to grow from so really really nice so that's the green stock system so now let me walk you down here through my little containers and just show you how the herbs are doing so starting over here on the left, I have just a couple of hanging baskets. I always like to put a little hanging basket so I have a pop of color out here. These are just some trailing petunias, I believe. And then some nasturtiums that I started from seed. Those are doing really well. And then down here, we'll start here, there's a rosemary plant. I actually had that indoors all winter and it's done very well. I have some asparagus growing in containers here. I will eventually move that into the ground. Um, some golden variegated sage here and it's done just really well in the container along with a little bit of dill. Dill doesn't do too well for me in containers. Um, and then my African blue basil. This is just a really pretty basil that attracts bees like crazy. I've been taking cuttings of the African blue basil so that I can move different plants all through my gardens to attract the bees so that I'll have good pollination with things like my melons and my cucumbers so I've already taken a few cuttings of that and I'm planning to take some more I plant all of my basils from seed and the only one that I would cut to propagate would be this African blue basil because you cannot grow it from seed and then I have a flat leaf parsley here and I've popped a couple of little scallion plants on the outside of the container um, my French tarragon is doing really well. I need to go ahead and cut this and dry it um, and then it will stimulate more new growth. At this point it needs to be cut and I, I love to use dried tarragon. This is my chai plant along with a few more scallions again on tucked there on the outside of the pot. I always stick those everywhere through my container garden. I have another pot of um, scallions. This is about the size I like to use them. They're just beautiful at this size and they're so wonderful that tastes so good and then I planted um, another pot of cilantro which is not up yet but it will be soon and then I planted two kinds of basil in one container I have one basil that I started early um, I think I started that indoors and it's doing okay it's doing actually wonderful but the other two that are in the container with it which are the Siam Queen basils are not doing so well because it's been a little bit cool and they don't like the cool temperatures at all no basil really does. And then over here on the right, I have some apple mint. Just loving the cool temperatures and all the rain. Your mint will get um, very root bound pretty quick. So sometimes it will dry out. And so that's one plant I have to really keep watered if I want mint up here in my container garden. And behind it, I have some lime thyme. At some point, I'll probably pop that down in the other garden. And then my chives are starting to fade a little bit. The chive blossoms have faded. 
and at this point I'll probably just go ahead and cut it back and move it into a more shady area so I can get some new growth. Here are some green onions and a cilantro plant and then over here I have my Greek oregano which is doing well but I my other oreganos in my ground garden do much better because they love that space. They don't really like being confined in a container. And behind my fountain, I have cilantro growing, and I like to give it a little bit of shade. Okay, so just past the fountain here, I have a calamondin tree or a bush. It produces these little tiny oranges. They're extremely tart, the juice is, but you mostly use the orange peel. Okay, and here's another... Um, Siam Queen basil plant. I'm hoping when the temperatures heat up that it'll um, look a lot better. And then I have chervil along with a few scallions. I planted some more basil from seed. And then my Meyer lemon tree. A lot of the leaves fell off when I moved it outside. It just, you know, irregular watering tends to do that to my Meyer lemon tree. I've had this happen before. But now I have a lot of new growth coming out on it. So it's looking really good. And then I have some leftover plants. I'm still trying to find a place for them. So I hope that I find a place for these wonderful Jersey Devil uh, paste tomatoes soon because they need to be moved out. Um, they're getting kind of stressed. So there you go. If you have any questions about how to grow your herbs, please leave them down below in the um, comment section. I'll be more than glad to help you. If you have any comments about the herbs I showed you, let me know too. And thanks for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.